seven ways to make you mine. Hello, hello. Welcome to Mumbai. And today we're going to take care of the waiting for a sign challenge. It was his biggest fan challenge and the free bird challenge. Now you don't need to bring very much with you for this one, but I do recommend the lockpick. It seems to be quite a godsend for this level. And we're going to start off, as I hope to do with most of these videos, with the maelstrom. Because not knowing who he is is very, very annoying. So right off the bat what we're going to do is we're just going to run straight down the main street all the way around past the side of Rangan Tower and round towards the docks. And then once we get past this little cluster of people here we should find just on the right a pink door somewhere around here. So we want to go through this pink door up the stairs out the door on the left and crouch get the door to close as well because we want to get right up in that corner area there now this is where the maelstrom will come and you can only spot him through instinct and he moves faster than everyone else so hopefully I can highlight this for you when he shows up he should be just coming into view now so there he is and you see he moves a little bit quicker than everyone else he's gonna stop underneath that sign there we're just gonna whip out our pistol real quick shoot the sign Drop it on his head. 47. That man you just eliminated. That was the maelstrom. So there you go. That gets you the first target down. Waiting no for a for sign challenge driver. complete. On to the next one. So what we're going to do now. Is I'm waiting to see if there was any commotion. Which there wasn't. So we're now ready and free to make our way on to our next target. Who will be Rangdon this time. So I'm just going to get my bearings. We're back down the stairs. I need to go to Rangdon Tower. So I want to go out the door I came in preferably. Yeah, yeah, I picked the right one. And we're just going to go back to Rangdon Tower. Vault over the wall. When we get there. I'm not going to take out the camera this time. Normally I, I do take out the camera. But today I did not. I felt the camera had had a tough break this week. It's been shot a lot of times. Thought we could do with the day off. So once we're over the wall, we're gonna jump up through the stepped garden area. We're gonna wait for this lady here to turn round. And when she walks back inside, we're gonna bypass the camera and we're gonna knock her out. Just like we've done many, many times before. I really enjoy knocking her out because she, every time I try and do this without knocking her out, she spots me. So we want to take out this guy as well. Now you should be able to subdue him around the corner, but for some reason it didn't work for me. I was experiencing a number of little glitches during this run, some of which you'll see. But uh, once we've knocked this guy out, we're going to take his outfit. And I'm going to hide his body, apparently. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's not normally like me. I tend not to hide bodies. So what we're going to do now is make our way into the lift shaft. We need to climb up about two floors where we will find a little ledge, as you already see it up there, which is has the script hiding on it. One of the actresses, or the lead actress, doesn't want to do the last scene, so she's hid the script. So we need to get it off the ledge. You can throw pretty much anything at it. I've only really got coins, so... Bing! Nice shot. That's going to knock the script down into the basement area. So we're going to make our way straight back down the pole, all the way to the bottom. We're going to retrieve the script and our coin while we're down here. And then we're going to make our way back up the pole. I would recommend getting off at the second floor. Just like you would for the silent assassin suit only run. Like an idiot that I am, I kept going and kept going. I climbed up to about the third or fourth floor and I've got to make my way down all the stairs. So I, I recommend getting out of the elevator roughly the second floor I think it is. So I've now got to make my way down the stairs, two floors. No, down, down the stairs. You can't go up any further. You saw out the window, that's basically where we want to be. So we're going to make our way down and we're going to give the script 
to the director. So yeah, it is the second floor you want to get out on. And make our way through this nice looking lounge area. But not that way. Yeah, you want to go more? Yep, yeah, this is it. I still really don't know this map too well just yet. But we want to approach the director and that'll be the woman with the pink baseball cap. We're going to hand her the script. I found this. The script? You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan to be running. Run over and manage, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. Just make sure the safety is on and you don't go above the indicated power. I'll round up everyone. You got it. So what we're going to do now is directly behind us after that conversation is the screwdriver. So we're going to need that. And we're going to take the screwdriver and tamper with the fan. And then we're going to man the fan's controls, which is just this laptop to the right here. And all we've got to do now is wait for Rangdin to show up and they can start the scene. This does take a little while because there is a bit of exposition or these two ladies having their little girly chat while we wait, which you have to sit through. Uh, I believe it's the actress complaining that she doesn't want to do the scene or that she doesn't understand her motivations. But Rangdon's here now, so we're all ready all right, to go. People, time to get the show on the road. I'm here, my lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Charisma. So we're just waiting now for the director to give us the cue and we'll start the fan. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the fan. So like the lady says, we start the fan. They're going to start the scene. Now you can, if you want, just increase the power and blow them both off the roof right now. Likely lose your silent assassin rating if you were going to do it that way. Or you can wait and watch yes. this scene play out till no the end. In hell now. And the actress assassin. will leave the stage and leave Rangdon all alone on the stage in front of the fan. And then you can turn it up. So she's going to leave the stage now, and we're going to increase the power a second she steps off of it. So there she goes. So as she gets clear, we're going to turn up the power on the fan. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. So there you go. That that gets you. It was his biggest fan challenge complete. And that's two targets down. One more to go. And that's Vanish Shah. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not entirely sure. That's why I usually only use their surnames. So what we need to do is make our way out of Rangan Tower and head over to the train yard. I should point out that I keep jumping in these boxes because I record these videos in sessions between going to work each day and coming home from work each day. Sometimes I don't get the level complete and I have to jump in a box and save it and finish it up when I get home from work. If anyone was wondering why I keep jumping in and out of boxes. So, like I said, we're going to make our way out of the tower. And we're going to head right over to the train yard. It's a bit of a trek, but it's right on the other side of the map. And we're now going to take care of the free bird challenge, which consists of dropping a bird cage on Shah's head. Now, that what we're going to do, we're going to go around to the back of the train yard, as you can see. We're going to lockpick this green container door, because there are two guards just to our left on the other side there. And we're going to go through this window here and we need to take out a couple of people once we're through this window one of them being a server and one of them being a guard and here's where we'll get to see another one of these little glitches 
We've just got to wait for Shah to leave the area because she's currently in the area. So, as usual, Anubis, your timing stinks. So we've basically got to wait for her to finish up here where she's having her tea. And she's going to go and hold court over at the other side of the train yard. And then we can proceed by taking out first the tea serving guy and then the bodyguard. And you can take the bodyguard's outfit if you want to move around a little bit easier. So all we're doing now is we're just going to throw a coin in the corner once, once the uh, serving guy has come over. And we're going to knock him out. And we'll leave him there. He'll have a nice little nap. So what I do now is I turn on this and it distracts someone in the train. And I was hoping it would distract the guard, but it didn't. It distracted someone actually in the train. So we're going to have to shoot her in the face. And that's quite a reaction to a bullet in the face. It's not that powerful a gun. Now, unfortunately, she landed and it was very, very loud. You couldn't really hear it in the video, which has now alerted the guard. So I've managed to kill her in time. But now the guard's just found the body. So we've got to take him out as well. I'm going to grab his outfit real quick. Like I say, it just makes it a bit easier moving around. Now I'm thinking, oh, any minute now, all the heat's going to come down and I might need to run, but no one's coming over. There is this one guard here who I nearly alert by moving through in the bushes. But he's obviously not paid enough to do his job properly. So we're going to creep our way through here. It's a little bit tricky here, for me at least, because I can't see the fencing too clearly. Now I need to be on the other side of this fence. I could have vaulted it really, but I'm just going to walk around. We're going to stand behind this big iron pillar here. And Shah is still holding court. They call her the Queen and that. And as soon as she finishes and she stands up from having her conversation, she's going to walk directly under this birdcage. So all we've got to do, shoot the birdcage cable. On Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Mission completed. Time to find We've just next. liberated two white doves and killed our target in the process. And like Diana said, all we've got to do now is make our way to the exit. And I'm going to probably take a tuk-tuk exit, as they are dotted about all over the place. So they're very easy to find. There we go. So there's three more challenges done. I have been Anubis. I will see you all in the next video.